Commonwealth attorney accusing the lead, as I understand it, detective in the case of lying. Damaging new allegations today in a local murder case which sent a man to prison for life. Good evening, everybody. The David Dooley murder case was back in court today and what could be the first steps toward a second trial. Kentucky attorney, Kentucky's attorney general took over the case after allegations surfaced which tainted Dooley's 2014 trial for the murder of Michelle Mockby. Local 12's Joe Webb broke the story on Monday. He joins us now with the new developments. Joe? Well, Cammie, it was a tough day for Boone County Commonwealth's attorney Linda Talley Smith and the lead detective in the Dooley case, Bruce McVeigh. Yesterday, we told you in general that allegations surfaced of evidence that was withheld and at the trial and some questionably honest testimony. Well, today the allegations got very specific. Nearly two years to the day from the end of David Dooley's murder trial, Judge J.R. Schrand was back on the bench revisiting the case. No Dooley, new attorneys representing him. Gone also was Prosecutor Linda Talley Smith, replaced by an assistant Kentucky Attorney General. As you know, Ms. Smith has um, conflicted off of this case, um, potentially maybe a witness. Here's why. A former worker in Talley Smith's office claims a computer search turned up telltale information in the David Dooley murder case. Came upon a file. When he opened the file, he saw some emails that indicated that some evidence may have been withheld. The worker hired Steve Wallenzak after he claims he confronted Linda Talley Smith with the new information and was fired. Wallenzak says he has a thumb drive full of text messages and emails that raise serious questions about Dooley's trial and the lead investigator in the case. But are these, are these emails and text messages between the Commonwealth's attorney and Detective McVeigh? They are. And she accuses him of lying on the stand in these text messages? She accuses him of lying to her during this murder trial and not Oh, yeah. lying to her during this trial. Wallen's access Tally Smith did not share that information with Kentucky's Attorney General, so he did, sparking today's hearing. After it, he shared that thumb drive with both sides. They will be back in November for another hearing that could ultimately lead to a new trial for David Dooley. We don't know yet because we don't know have all the information provided in front of us, but it is, I mean, that's something hopeful for him, so it's good. At this point, David Dooley is still serving a life sentence and is a convicted murderer. We don't know what evidence was allegedly withheld or the significance of the alleged lies that were told. Even if he got a new trial, he could be convicted again. Steve Wallenzak says his client's motivation is not to free David Dooley, but to ensure he gets a fair trial. Cammie? All right, Joe Webb, thank you. Both sides will be back in court November 15th for a full-blown hearing on the new allegations.